My name's Jonathan Green. I joined Gay Gooners in 2013, the year it started. Gay Gooners marched at Pride that year, and there I was in my little Arsenal shirt. So I vaulted over the barrier and just legged it, and I thought, just park myself, I'm here. It was just, yes, I know where I, I, know where I belong. When you go to your first football matches, you first go through one of those entrances. An amazing panorama opens up in front of you. Suddenly the sound is coming from every direction of people and cheering and shouting. And you suddenly think, oh my God, this is completely amazing. It was probably the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. I've been an Arsenal fan for 13 years. And that was the same time that I got with my Mrs. Karen. She got me into Arsenal Football Club and that was it. I started supporting Arsenal when I was six years old. A boy in my class that I quite fancied supported Arsenal, so it's been 17 years. My mother had to buy me a football shirt for um, playing football at the primary school. And ran onto the pitch wearing my red shirt with white sleeves, red cuffs and a red collar. And uh, a friend came running up and said, what a fantastic shirt, that's Arsenal. I decided to follow the Arsenal and of course, what a year to become an Arsenal fan in 1971. In the 80s, football got a bad name. The environment just was, was going to be completely unwelcoming for somebody like me. So again, I never even considered going to a game. I'd watch games, but never felt that I would belong in a stadium like this. That was not a good time to go to football games. It was very different than it is now. Homophobic chanting was just it's what you did, right? I think football, when you're growing up, you don't really think about what's being chanted. When I started questioning my own sexuality when I was around 13, you start hearing things that you hadn't noticed before. You start hearing slurs and, and chants. Yeah, I stopped playing when I was about 13 and I realised that I was trans and I was like, actually, I can't, I can't do this anymore. So I only started playing again, um, actually, a month ago. So it's been, it's been a long time. In Baku, some other Arsenal fans started a homophobic chant. That kind of shook me up. You know, there's an Arsenal fan wanting to have a go at me because I politely asked them to chant something better. Just because you've chanted it for 20 years doesn't make it right. I actually stopped going to football. I didn't think I'd ever go to a football game again. I think most of the time they're trying to chant about an opposition team, but forgetting that the words they're using have a real impact on Arsenal fans too. Yes, is there less homophobia in the ground? Absolutely. Do I sometimes hear homophobic comments? Absolutely, I do. When the Gay Gooners um, banner went up, somebody near me, she went, what's that? Why are they going to put that on? Why are they bringing their, why are they bringing their politics in? And the bloke who had pointed it out said, they're fans like everybody else. For me, the way that real education and change comes along is that little conversation. And it might make, just make them slightly think twice about what they might say, what they might say to a friend, that they might just say, no, don't, don't do that. We are coming here to these games. We want to feel safe, we want to feel comfortable, and we want to support the Arsenal. And you know, very much behind the Arsenal for everyone. There's a minority of people that may do whatever they're doing, but ultimately I can say I'm a gender fluid lesbian who is an Arsenal fan and I don't have any shame or fear around it. I don't think I ever would have considered playing again if I hadn't first gotten involved with Gay Gooners. When I'm here, it's just, I'm watching my football and it's brilliant. I love it, I do, yeah, yeah. Having groups like Gay Gooners is what got me back into football and without them I would not be in in a football stadium. Finally, everything clicks. It felt immediately like a family. And I think that is just what Gay Gooners is, is an extension of the Arsenal family. We've met so many people who've had similar experiences to me that feel that football isn't welcoming for someone who's LGBT+. One of the really big and important things we do with Arsenal as a club is having visibility and showing that there are LGBT plus people who go to football. That is a really important way of reaching out to people that might otherwise want to come to football but are hesitant because of who they are. We were absolutely delighted at the initiative that came from the club about opening up a box for people that are hesitating, taking that first step to come into the stadium, along with the banner that we have in the stadium, um, which a lot of our members have said they maybe came here as a regular fan, they weren't out to other fans around them. They saw the banner. I went, wow, Arsenal you know, are supportive of the Gay Gooners. I, I know from my own experience, the thought that goes through your head, why haven't I done this before? This is a great club. 
this is a great club. And it's got great values. For a young gay person, come along with the Gay Gooners and I think you'll realise that it's actually much easier to be an Arsenal fan, an LGBT uh, Arsenal fan, than you might fear it is. These days things have got so much better. That rush of the sounds and the sights and the smells is amazing and I'd want anybody to experience that. Come and support the Arsenal, you won't regret it.